Hi, my name is Johanna Kolehmainen. I'm a biologist and a teacher in the University of Helsinki in the Department of Agricultural Sciences. In my free time, I work voluntarily for biodiversity. I like to work locally because I think it's the easiest and time-efficient way to influence. In this video, I will give you six examples of what anyone can do to support biodiversity in practice. Most of my examples are outdoor activities, which are also good for your health. Invasive alien plants threaten our native biodiversity. You can participate in voluntary work to control them. For example, local nature conservation NGOs and resident groups organize this type of work. You can also be the organizer yourself and gather up a group or work alone, but of course you need to be sure about the identity of the plants you find. Urban green spaces often lack biodiversity. There are too many intensively mown lawns and too few unmanaged areas rich in wildflowers. You can request your local authorities to change their management practices for lawns that have a potential to develop into meadows. You can also make other suggestions for actions that would support biodiversity. Culturally important landscapes such as meadows and pastures have almost disappeared. Consequently, many species adapted to these habitats have become threatened. You can create compensatory habitats by sowing native meadow plants on urban wastelands. Seeds can be bought or collected from nature. This is more fun with other people, so I gathered up a local group of meadow activists. Together we even planted a small flower garden in front of our grocery store to attract pollinators and to cheer up the community. You can make a contract with a landowner to manage a culturally important landscape in your neighborhood. These landscapes will slowly grow into forests if woody vegetation is not removed. By removing bushes and tree seedlings, you create space for flowers that provide food for pollinators. If you like gardening, you can add different flowers to your garden or home yard to support pollinators. This is possible even for someone living in an apartment building with a common yard. You just have to agree things with your neighbors and the housing company. You increase the number of flowers by leaving part of the yard unmown or by planting flower beds. In my home yard I have created a flower bed with a diversity of plants so that some species are always in flower from spring to autumn. I also suggested to leave part of the yard grow wild and my idea was accepted. You can help birds by hanging bird boxes on trees. Leaving decaying wood in place boosts biodiversity via providing habitat for decomposers. I record my species observations with the iNaturalist app. iNaturalist is a global network of citizen scientists and biologists who build biodiversity information together for the use of science. For someone who wants to learn to identify different species, it's a great identification tool that is in your pockets wherever you go. You can pick one or few of my examples that are suitable for you and start to act. It's also good to keep in mind that by telling other people about what you are doing, you can inspire others to act to promote biodiversity in their own surroundings. <laughs>